Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 4 of White Day, a labyrinth named School. Now I'm glad you guys have been enjoying this series because I've really been enjoying playing through this game, and I kind of want this episode to be the last one because I think we're pretty far through the game. I've heard this game's around 6 hours long, look we're around to the 5 hour mark as you can see there now. I think it's doable to finish it off in this video, maybe we make this an extra long video. As I've said before, once this is complete I will start work on finding all the ghosts for a video looking at all the monsters as we usually do after we complete a game. I'll also be bringing you guys a video at some point looking at the story and all the different endings. That's probably going to take me a while to unlock so uh, yeah don't expect that straight away but maybe in the next month or so I'll bring you that as well. With that said let's not waste any more time and let's dive into part four of White Day, a labyrinth named School. Okay, so we're back and strangely enough, I've got the screen making this kind of waving effect, which usually happens when there's a ghost nearby. So I don't know why that's happening. That's like really weird. Does that mean there's a ghost over here? But there's a sound coming from over here. Man, I feel like this means there's a ghost around, but I... Oh. I can definitely hear something. Oh my god, I can see one. Guys, look. You see the ghost? It's getting closer. Where is it? It's right in front of us now. Look, it's coming towards us. Oh my god, it jump scared us. That was a faint hello from a ghost. Anyway, let's get on with the episode. So basically, in the previous episode, we had this puzzle that we had to do with the clocks, if you remember. We have these clocks around the uh, different rooms and each of them has to be set to the right time. And we got a note which basically told us how to do that. So if we look at our note for the different clocks around the school, we can see it says World Time Zones. And it talks about Greenwich Meridian Time. It says the local time for each city, Greenwich is set to zero, and then Washington DC will be minus three, Moscow will be plus three, and Beijing will be plus eight. So what I'm guessing we do here is find whatever clock Greenwich is set to, um, and then set the other clocks accordingly from Greenwich time. Like you can see this one is a picture of Beijing. So this clock corresponds to Beijing, which means that it would need to be, if we go back to our documents, plus eight GMT. So whatever clock the UK time is, for Greenwich Meridian time, we then change it to plus eight on this clock. So let's find the clock for um for the UK time first. So this is the Greenwich clock, okay. So this clock says 12. So that means we need to set the Beijing clock to plus eight. So let's go and do that. Hopefully we can actually move this now. Yeah, that needs to be at 8. So that should be right. Um, and now I think there was a clock in this room. Yep, yeah, there is a clock here. This is Moscow. So let's have a look at the Moscow time. Um, Moscow was plus 3. So this should be 3 a.m. then. Nice. And then we just need to find out where the clock for Washington is, which could be <laughs> not in the toilet, I don't think. Maybe in here? Nope, that's another toilet. In here? Hmm, where is the final clock? Oh, there's a clock in here. Okay, good. Right, so... Let's close that and let's check this clock. So this, I think, is Washington. Yes, the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. So let's have a look at what Washington said. Washington was 
minus three, so we need to set that as nine o'clock, I believe. Something's worked, something's happened. The clocks are correctly aligned. Oh! We've got some... I don't even know what that is. It is... Oh, it's here. L rods. An L-shaped rod. And a spirit bell, which makes a clear sound. Hmm. So we've got a nameless document here. There used to be a pond at the spot before the new building was built. Of course, there were rumours that the pond was haunted. According to local legend, it was a cursed pond, and the souls of the people who drowned in that pond were trapped in it. The only way an imprisoned soul can escape the pond was to drag another soul into the pond. That's why the ghosts of that pond were more bloodthirsty, killing more people. At its worst, the pond claimed a life every month. The school warned the students about the pond, but the drownings did not stop. Some people wanted to fill in the pond, but the chairman always decided against it. The chairman said that the pond allowed the Feng Shui to flow well. I mean, how important is Feng Shui when people are dying, you know? Well, I found out later just how important Feng Shui is. Anyway, because of the fierce protests, it was finally decided that the pond was to be filled in. But on the first day of filling the pond, the machine operator died of a heart attack. After that, the school had to hold a purification ritual every year for the pond. Time passed and the building was built over the spot where the pond used to be. No more rituals. Lately though, there are rumours that ghosts are showing up again. They say that a girl's ghost drenched in water and wearing an old school uniform has been seen in the history room. She might be one of the ghosts of a student that died in the pond. You might ask why a pond ghost would appear where the pond is gone. Well, it's hard to explain. This world and the underworld exist in the same space. But what does that mean? Well, it means that human and ghosts occupy the same space, but in different, for lack of a better word, dimensions. You could also compare it to radios, each of them giving off its own frequency, and that's why humans and ghosts cannot influence each other. So, even if there is a building built over where the pond was in this world, that pond could still be there in the underworld dimension. I will try to find out the truth of all of this today. I was able to create the occult club. The teachers hate it. Even though people find my club weird, my club is not a joke. We investigate and research the supernatural phenomena that cannot be explained by modern science. Naturally, the quickest way of proving our worthy cause would be finding a ghost. Just by sheer luck, I recently came upon something called Elrod, which has magical powers. The person who found it told me that it can detect ghosts, as well as being used as a dowsing rod. So these L rods are probably what's going to help us get across the swimming pool and the ghosts living in it because it says they can detect ghosts, they have magical powers, and they can be used as dowsing rods. So yeah, we should probably use these L rods we just picked up to cross the pool, guys. We'll go back upstairs to the pool and we'll see if we can make any progress now, you know, we'll see if we can cross the pool with these rods. Yeah, it works. All right, let's do it. Okay, so how do we cross the water? It's it, they're, they're crossed. It looks like it's saying we can't go yet. Oh. Okay. I don't get it. This doesn't look like it wants us to cross. Oh, we can go this way. We can go this way. We have to cross... We have to... We have to basically move only when they're not crossed. This is really weird. I don't quite understand it. Oh my god, what the heck? What's he doing? How's he climbing up on top of the water? Wow, okay. Okay. So... We have to be very careful. We have to be very slow. Oh my god. This is insane. This is literally insane. I've gone back to the start. I've literally gone back to the start, guys. We 
can go this way. Oh. We can keep going this way. Oh, we made some progress that time. Look at that thing just swimming around us. This is like really, 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 really unnerving. It says walk towards her now. Okay. Well, obviously we don't want to walk towards her, right? I just want to go straight forward. What the heck? She's right there in front of us as well. I'm probably going to have to cut this down massively because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me doing this for ages. Maybe we've made it. Wait, have we made it? Have we? No, not quite. Almost. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. This is the weirdest puzzle I think I've ever played in a game. Oh, so close yet so far. Come on. Just give us that sweet, sweet victory. Yes, we made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. We're across the pool. We did it. Okay. Can we... Uh, we can unlock this door. Oh my god, I can hear someone. I can hear the janitor from the other side. Oh, we've got a drainer. We've got a valve to drain it here. The valve is not turning anymore. Has that worked? I think that might have worked. Look at it, it's dying now. And it leaves behind the water medallion which we needed to get through the door downstairs. So I think it's safe now probably to drop down. A wooden token that has the water symbol on it. It gives off a lucky vibe. Excellent, excellent. There we go, guys, we've done it. Okay, I think it's probably a good idea to save the game at this point. Problem is, we've got the janitor really close by. He's downstairs one floor. Now, I think it was on floor one, the exit. Yeah, I think it's here, as I remember. So we need to go down to floor one. I think it was over here. Oh no, it's not. I thought this is where it was. So it's not on this floor. It must be a floor up. There's the janitor. It's that door there. It's floor two. Okay, it's fine. We're just gonna run. Hopefully the janitor doesn't see us. Oh, he's seen us. Let's place the token, place the token, place the token. No! Please don't kill me, janitor! I unlocked it, sweet. Oh! You! What it's do that you ghost. think you're doing there? Nobody ever escapes this school! Die! She looks insane. Let me through! I must get in! I'm begging! My daughter's in there! <laughs> Let go of me! No! No! You killed her! You killed my daughter! You pay for what you did! She's gonna kill the janitors, wow. You're just like them! Why? Tell me why my daughter had to die! Oh man. Like my child. What the heck? What am I supposed to do? Guys, she's coming for us. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do. I have I can't see any notes to help me. I'm just gonna run from her. I'm gonna run up to the top floor. I don't know what else I can do. She's so close, she's actually coming for us. What the heck? What do I do? We've got these alarm boxes. Can I set the alarm off or something? I remember reading about a ghost that didn't like an alarm. I'm gonna try it. Oh, we have to dodge her. 
That is nuts. Okay, so the alarm is triggered. Well, I guess that is it then. My child, I will always protect you. That's kind of sad. Hey, are you alright? Are you injured? We're fine. <laughs> no, I nearly got killed just now. I'll say I'm fine. I'm glad you're okay. She likes us now, I think. Why which the is heck good. Was she trying to kill you? Maybe we'll get a good ending out of this. I don't know, she was babbling about her dead daughter. That's a bit cold. I think she went crazy after her daughter died. I'm going to say that. Her dead daughter, you mean? We don't have time for this. I just heard Jihyun screaming in the lecture hall. I have a bad feeling. I think So Young is going to do something desperate. You get to the lecture hall, and I'll meet you there. Deal. Sounds like a deal to me. So, rest in peace. The mother can finally, you know, reunite with her daughter, I guess, in the afterlife. Guys, we've done it. We've done a boss. I, I lucked out there, I guess. I just ran and ran until I couldn't run anymore. Good. GG. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to actually explore a bit now. I think the janitors are gone. They got, like, blasted. I'm hoping that means that we can now explore the school without the janitors coming after us. So, like, my goal now is to basically go and see if we can find, like, the extra stuff that we're missing by going back through the school. Wait, there is a janitor. Oh my god, there is a janitor. This is really bad. I didn't realise there would be janitors walking about. Let's hide. I thought all the janitors were gone now, they're not. Right, let's go back to main building one. I'm guessing there's also going to be a janitor in main building one, but... I really want to explore and find, you know, the, like the secrets of this game. So, let's just try our best. I actually have some keys that we can combine, so I might try going back and combining some of the keys to start with. Seeing if we can unlock some of these, like, locked boxes. So let's head all the way back here. I'm really hoping there's no janitors about. So far, so good. Here we go. So this is the key making machine we saw in episode one. I now actually have two keys that I can press into it. So let's pop the keys in and turn it on. How do we do this? Do we pull the lever? Yes. Combines key. A combination of two keys from a key combining machine. Red and yellow. It looks like it can open a small lock. Okay, good. Oh no, I don't want to, I don't want to put that in. Okay. So, we can now open small locks. Now, I don't know if small locks maybe refer to, like, desk drawers or if they refer to the lock boxes. I'm not sure. But we'll have to have a look around and see. So I think the first thing we do is go and see if we can open some of these lock boxes now. Here we go. Does that... No, we're not getting any kind of response from that. So I'm guessing we can't open those yet. Oh, we can unlock this one though. This is all new. And this lets us go upstairs. Is this like a shortcut then? I'm guessing so. This is a shortcut upstairs, so that's kind of good. 
I wonder if we can check through any of these cupboards and see anything. Let's have a look. Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh my god! Okay. That scared me. What the hell was that? Wow. Okay. That, that got me pretty bad. What the heck was that? That was a ghost in there. I think we heard about that ghost in one of the ghost stories. That really scared me. Yeah, a woman locked in the closet. Remember when we read this? It was about a woman that got, like, all bent up in a closet. And she now haunts, like, locked, like, I don't know, lockers and stuff. She will stick out her twisted neck to claim her next victim. Oh, man. That was freaky. Oh, there's another ghost encounter we can scratch off the list. That's actually freaky. Um. Ooh. What's that? We've got like that haze that appears when there's a ghost nearby. Oh. Oh god, there's a ghost right there. Let's run. Screw that. It's gonna try and touch us again, I know it. Look, it's coming for us guys. I don't know what it means when the ghosts like chase us like this. It's freaky. Do we have to do anything in this room because it came out of it? I don't know. It's coming for us though. It's still coming for us. Man, I don't know what to do. Do we just avoid it? Is that the idea here? This is really freaking me out. I don't know if there's like some time limit that we have to avoid it for. Wow, it's really close to us. It's just trying to touch us. Ah. Look at it. What is this? I mean, it just jump scares us. And it, we get an achievement called Faint Hello. I don't understand. That's weird. So we've seen two ghosts already since we're coming back to this building. What's this? Chalk. Chalk to write on a chalkboard. Okay. I think I want to go downstairs to the nurse's office if I can. Simply because we got those glasses, didn't we? We got the glasses. The lens for the glasses. So I think if we can go down here and test out those lenses... We might be able to solve a puzzle that's in here, yes. So, let's go over here, look. We've now got the lens that goes in these glasses. Yeah, look, we can see through it now. We can actually see the board. Eye testing right. A small lens that looks like a monocle. Oh, do we need to find the other one? I think we need to find one for the left as well. We've only got one for the right. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Ooh, the eye lens left. Guys, I found the other eye lens that we need for the glasses. So I think what we're going to do is go and check out those glasses and see what they do now. Unfortunately, we've got janitor stalking us around the place. No. I hate this. So annoying. It's so annoying, this game with the janitors. It's just like, why? Why the janitor's a thing, you know? Right, let's just hide. Let's just hide and hope he doesn't come in. That's all we can do. Let's wait and hope that the janitor goes and then we're going to look at those glasses and see if we can do the eye puzzle. Right, let's check out these glasses. Can we do anything with them now? <gasps> yes! Look, it shows now the letters and symbols that are circled. So it looks like a C there at the top. So that'd be C2 and then a plane. C2 plane and then that symbol. 
I'm just going to go with that, guys, and we're going to try and head back to the other building, main building three, because I remember in main building three, if you if you recall, in the principal's room, I think it was, or maybe it was the, um, let's have a look. It was in, I think the counselor's office, actually, maybe. No, it was in the chairman's office, yeah. The new building, the chairman's office, was that combination with weird symbols and like drawings and stuff of birds and planes. We need, we didn't know what the code would be and now we've got it. So what we need to do is head back there without this janitor getting us. Okay, so we're back in this creepy ass new building with the uh, dead woman. And now we're going to go down to the chairman's office, which I think is on the first floor, and see if we can enter that code we just got. And hopefully, this gives us something worthwhile. So, let's have a look. So, the first number again was the number, well, the letter C, I think. Then, C. Or, I don't think it's a C, but it looks like a C to me. Then the plane as the picture in here, and then finally, that. Has that worked? Yeah, it has. Nice. What is, what is this? Oh, it's a ghost story. The impassable bridge. Although it was early in the morning, the whole school was filled with an uneasy buzz. Chul Min, a student, was found unconscious in the hallway. This particular hallway was the passageway between the main building and the new building, and it was rarely used. Oh man, that's a creepy dark hallway we've been going in in and out of like the whole playthrough and um, there's been like a ghost there the whole time. It was built with an interesting design that puzzled all of those who set eyes on it. Its purpose was to be a bridge that connects one building to another, but it was shaped like a tunnel with fluorescent lighting, but no one window. This made it seem creepy even during the daytime. What's more, getting to the other building wasn't a straight path, but instead twisted and turned. All of that combined made fewer and fewer students use the walkway, and the less people used it, the more creepy the rumours about it became. One rumour said that while walking down the passageway, which felt like walking into a cave, there were sounds of footsteps either behind you or coming from the front. Either way, you'd never see anyone there. Another rumour said that if you enter this hallway in the middle of the night, you will never get to the other building but instead get lost in a labyrinth of corridors until the break of dawn. The night before the accident took place, Chul Min told his friends that he didn't believe in such bogus stories. Being teenagers, they dared Chul Min to prove himself, so Chul Min and his friends came to school in the middle of the night. The chest Chul Min was given seemed simple. He only had to go through the passageway, get to the other building, and bring back an object from a classroom. Chulmin wasted no time beginning his easy venture and quickly opened the door to the passageway. He disappeared into the darkness and the door shut behind him. When Chulmin was alone, he realised it was scarier than he had imagined. The passageway was without a single window and all he could see were small patches of light like islands in a pitch black sea. Chulmin shivered and began to regret making this bet with his friends. When the sound of his footsteps echoed loudly in the empty hallway, it felt like something from the darkness would come running at him at any second. Chulmin gathered together what courage he had left and started walking as fast as he could. That's when something passed him and lightly brushed his neck, making a metallic sound. His hair stood on end. He felt like something was right behind him. Was he hearing things? He thought he could hear faint laughter. Chulmin clenched his teeth bravely turning around. Nothing was there except a completely empty hallway in darkness. Chul Min, who had been scared to death, was a bit relieved, until right at that moment, he heard a whisper. What are you doing here? Terrified, Chul Min ran as fast as he could, screaming. It didn't matter how fast or how far he ran, he would never be able to make it back to the building on the other side. At last, Chul Min suffered a panic attack and was knocked into unconsciousness. His friends, after waiting a long time, all returned home. Everyone was worried for Chul Min, yet no one suggested going back to look for him. So that's how Chul Min was found, laying unconscious in the passageway the next day. From that day on, the students had called this passageway, 
the impassable bridge or the labyrinth. Well, luckily we didn't see any ghosts as we went through there. It seems like there's at least 17 of these to collect and we've only had six ghost stories so far, so I'm missing quite a few as we play through the game here. I think, guys, what I'm going to do is probably try and like collect the rest of this stuff once I've beaten the game on my own time, see if I can find all the secrets. I think we'll progress with the story, so we need to go up to the second floor and head through this building next and see where the story goes from here. I'm a little bit nervous because I feel like we're going towards the end of the game here. But here we go. Is she coming back? That doesn't look good. That is not a good look. Hopefully she's not going to chase us now. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not going to hang around. I'm going to run. So, where are we heading to next? The auditorium. Okay. Into the auditorium we go. Right, we need our lighter out. It's very dark. An ominous silence is filling the auditorium. Okay. What have we got here? A tranquilizer. Okay. I don't think I've even used the tranquilizers. So this is where we need to get the seal to open this door. Like, we need to get the seal to open this door here. We need to find a way to turn on the lights. Attention! The lights in the auditorium can be controlled in the projection booth. Please note the incorrect usage of control room switches may, may cause the central door to lock. It's advised those who use the auditorium to be aware of this and use caution. Ah, okay. Should probably have picked that up to start with. So projection booth is here. In the center. Ah, so can we go back and into here? Yes, we can. Good. Um, what are we doing then? Has that worked? Well, it turned on the lights, so we're making progress. There's our friend. She's just in the middle of the uh, auditorium on the stage. We've got a document here. Fire safety inspection result. Okay. Placement of fire extinguishers. There's a total of three. Fire extinguisher type A at the back of the auditorium. We're obviously going to need these, aren't we? Fire extinguisher type B, boys locker room, first floor. And then the third one is on the girls locker room, first floor. Sprinkler maintenance inspection. Some pipes are leaking. The sprinkler pipe in the green room is leaking and under repair. The valve handle to the sprinkler will be stored in the storage room until the repair is complete. So this is going to be something we need to remember. Um, straight off the bat. So do we go and see our friend now? Can we get downstairs? Hopefully. Still can't go through there though. That's locked. What's this? A mirror? The exit is not opening yet. Let's let us out. Okay, this does not look good, guys. This does not look good at all. Wait, we still can't go in there, though? Okay. We can go through here, though, now. Oh. Damn. Warning, authorised personnel only. High gas pressure may cause an explosion. Right, this is really bad. Let's have a look at our map. Do we have any kind of like idea where we can control this from? The auditorium control room is next to us. That seems like a good place to maybe go and try and turn this off. Oh, actually, here's a switch box. We unlocked a door. Is this just to unlock doors? I think the locked door has opened, okay. Let's go through. Let's go and see if we can find our friend. Oh, 
Oh no, the fire! Okay. She's back. She is back. And she is burning. Oh my god, we've got 9 minutes 56 to do this. We obviously need to put out the fire, so let me have a look at this. Where were those fire extinguishers again? Okay. Fire extinguisher type A at the back of the auditorium. Okay, let's go and get the fire extinguisher from the back of this room then, guys. That's not good. Dodge it, dodge it. I can't believe we've got like a killer after us at the same time. This is nuts. A fire extinguisher used to put out fires. It says it can be used on regular fires. Oh my god, she's coming for us. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. We need to find where the other fire extinguishers are. Let's have a look. The other fire extinguishers is one in the girls' locker room. We have to run all the way around to get to it, though. There's also one in the boys' locker room. Boys' locker room. Oh, we're next to it. Okay. Can we go to the boys' locker room? Wow. We avoided that. There we go. Let's put the fire out. It worked. Guys, it worked. Now we get the second one. We also get the soy milk, because we need to heal. Okay. So now, we need to go to the girls' locker room on the other side of this building. So let's go. Where was it, though? I think it's here, right? Let's put this out. Okay, that's out, I think. Yep. Oh my god, I'm getting hit. I need to heal. So where do we go now, I wonder? Oh, they're sitting in the corner here. An emergency kit, nice. That'll come in handy. So let's have a look at our map. Where can we go from here? Can we maybe go to the main entrance now? Let's get the heck out of here. I don't know. Guys, I don't know where to go. Maybe we can get through here. It looks like it's working. Yes. I can't get through there though. Oh yes I can. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh yeah, look, there's a blue fire. Put it out. No, I got killed. What the heck? I put out the fire though. No, guys, we died. That's a shame. That is a shame. I think we did really well there. Like, I almost got through the whole area. I think I was on the last fire, so I might just cut back to, like, when I'm at that point again. But I didn't know, really know what I was meant to be doing, you know? Like, I saw a blue fire there. I think maybe if we'd put that out, we would have maybe been okay. I'm not sure. Let me have a look at that document again. I want to sort of study this. We got the three fire extinguishers, right? Which we needed. And then it says, the sprinkler pipe in the green room is leaking and under repair. The valve handle to the sprinkler will be stored in the storage room. So, were we in the right place then? Yeah, I think we were, right? Because we needed to get to the green room. Which is next to the girls' locker room. We needed to get here to the storage room where that blue fire was. So we were really close. We needed to get the 
uh, valve handle, I think, and then take it back to the green room. And then we would have probably sort of solved that puzzle. So I'll try and get there again and hopefully I'll be able to do it this time. Okay, we've got the valve handle. We've also got this woman here. We avoided her though. Okay, we've got to go to the green room now, guys. It's at the back of this room, I think. Let me just double check my map. Yeah, the green room is down here. So, apparently we need to be in this room for the valve. Yes. Place the valve handle. Turn it. And that's put out the fire. Hopefully, it will vanquish the ghost as well. That music is something else. But, um, you know, it looks like... Looks like we've done it. It looks like we've vanquished this particular ghost. Have we cleansed the school as well, I wonder? Well, that's very... That's very considerate of us to do that, isn't it? After she was trying to kill us. Yeah, I did. Are you okay? Did you get hurt? What should I say? I think it's all over now, or are you okay? I'll be nice to her. Yeah, um... I'm okay. Don't worry. Limping along? <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't think that I can walk right now. My ankles hurt. I'll wait right here. Can you go and find Songa? I'm scared for her. So basically, we can make a choice here. We can say, Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Uh, and decide to leave her and look for Sung A, or it's not safe for you to be alone here. And I'm guessing if we say that, we stay with her. So basically, we could decide which ending we want. I don't know if I want to leave her in that state, but the other girl we kind of got close to now as well, you know, and sort of, she seems all right, you know, she seems just a bit misunderstood, so I really don't know which which to go with, guys. Ah, oh, man, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard to make the choice. Do we leave her and look for the other one? I guess we know she's safe for now, right? So let's say that. Let's go and look for Sung A. Sung -ah. It's okay. I've always been alone anyway. Oh man. I don't know. I'm gonna tend to her ankle. I don't wanna leave her just like that, you know? I don't I don't wanna just kinda of leave her just hanging. There we go, we've tended to her ankle. <laughs> Hopefully this is like a good ending. Really? I'm all right. Oh, okay. She doesn't want us to tend to it anyway. Come on. Let's go wait outside. I'm sure that they'll join us soon. This place. I'm so sick of it. We left with her in the end after all. Maybe we should have just been double nice to her at the end there, I'm not sure. 
I just felt really bad when it said to like tend to her ankle or not. I was like, I don't want to leave someone alone. Like if it was real life, I'd help them out. So I don't know if that's a good ending. It seemed a bit like nothingy. Like I actually didn't think that was going to be the end. But we've got a bit more after the credits as well. So is that Sungay who just picked that up? We've got Althea as the ending. 6 hours 31 as our playtime on normal difficulty. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to try and show you guys what the other ending would have been like, I think. And then I'm going to wrap up and like give you my sort of impressions of the game and what I thought of it. I just want to see what the other ending would have been like. It's okay. I've always been alone anyway. Right, so now what we're going to do is select the Go Find Sung R and hopefully get a different ending. Okay, so we... Oh! We get to take the fire token this time. What? I thought... We are going to find Sung A. I'm just, you know, just checking you're alright. Okay, so we actually get to play on and do things a little differently this time, which is kind of cool. So... Oh. Still not opening. We need to find where that fire seal was. I think it was on the second floor in the corner, yes. So this actually gives us a completely different ending if we do this. Probably a better one, because that other one was a bit abrupt. So here we go. This is leading us to a new ending. Ooh, this one's called Ebony, okay. Oh wait, that doesn't look good. It looks like we've just done something worse, like we've activated something. Himin. Hey, Himin. Himin, wake up. What is going on now? What you looking for? <laughs> it's fine. It's all over. I feel like it's probably not fine. But I think that Ji Hyun is hurt. Let's go outside and try to call for help. But where's Sung A or Sung A, whatever her name is? Like, we haven't seen her again. Come on. What's wrong? Aren't you coming? Hmm. I don't know if I trust this. See, I knew something was wrong. <laughs> God, that is creepy. That is weird. What is that? What's wrong? What is it? Something wrong? He's like, nah, it's then fine. I'm just let's hearing hurry things. Up and go. <laughs> Please don't leave me here. Please. I wonder how we change this Please. ending then. I think that's meant to be her dead sister, isn't it? The one that hung herself. Man, she, that's like an evil version of her. Well, there we go, the ebony ending. So that's two endings for you guys. Um, I liked her ending more, but it was really creepy. And I think this game's cool because it's meant to have like a whole bunch of different endings. And, you know, I do want to try and unlock them all. So I'll probably have to use a guide for that. But like, I will try and go through the game with a guide and unlock all of the endings to show you in a video. I want to make a video looking into the story of this game, but it seems like quite deep, so it'd probably take me some time to put that together. But thanks for watching the playthrough. You've now seen my playthrough of White Day, my first, you know, impressions of it going through the game. We obviously missed a ton of ghosts, and I will do a video looking into the ghosts soon, or that's for plan at least. 
So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. I had a great time with the game and I'm eager to find out more about this world. If you did enjoy the video today, remember to hit the like button, leave me a comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one.